Welcome to Juliet Kitchen. Today's recipe is this incredibly super delicious stuffed chicken breast. It's stuffed with a beautiful pesto. And then I have grilled radicchio with mushrooms. It's easy to make, it's super delicious. Let's get started. Before we get started, if you're new here to the channel, please consider subscribing. Also, give the video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it and click the bell for notification whenever I upload a new video. And of course, welcome back to my returning subscribers. This entire meal, the chicken as well as the radicchio mushrooms takes less than an hour and the taste is superb. The first thing I'm doing here is creating the pesto. I'm using a ton of garlic, I would say about six to eight cloves, lots of fresh basil, mint, fresh parsley, and I'm basically using the leaves. I'm using about one cup of each of the herbs. I pulse the garlic first as well as add in olives before adding in the herbs. Some freshly squeezed lemon juice works very well. This is about half of a lemon juiced. Also extra virgin olive oil. I'm using about a quarter cup at this point. Oh, and the olives was about a quarter cup. Pulse, pulse, pulse. And then I add in some ground cumin, about half of a teaspoon. Red hot pepper flakes is optional. I usually use about three quarter teaspoons. And then finally, I add in a cup of spinach packed, salt and pepper, and about two tablespoons to three tablespoons of the virgin olive oil. Pulse until it's very well combined. Wow, this looks amazing. It has the perfect texture that I like for the filling. What type of herbs do you use in your pesto? Leave me a comment. To the pesto, I'm adding quarter cup of Italian breadcrumbs instead of nuts. And I'm also adding in a half a cup of Parmesan cheese. My son is actually allergic to nuts, so I don't use it in my pesto. Mm, very good. I have my whole chicken breast here that I want to dry uh, very well. And I'm going to pound it flat. See that? Nice and whole chicken breast. I want to even out the thickness with the mallet. Evening out the chicken breast will allow it to cook more evenly. Season the chicken generously with kosher salt and freshly ground black pepper. I use about half a teaspoon freshly ground black pepper and one and a half teaspoons of kosher salt. And now the magic is to add the pesto. I would say about three quarter cups. The remaining pesto could be stored in the refrigerator for up to five days. I use a small spatula to spread out the pesto evenly. Now what I want to do is roll. Roll it into a jelly roll. It doesn't have to be very tight. I like to secure it with a few toothpicks instead of using a twine to wrap it because then the twine leaves a mark all over it. Look at this, how gorgeous. And this is ready. The toothpick doesn't look as pretty, but I guarantee you it's gonna come out and it's gonna look great. And now what I wanna do is drizzle with olive oil. Olive oil helps with browning. Into the oven with the chicken. I'm going to be serving the chicken with some uh, grilled mushrooms and radicchio. Well, I really want to do these are all cleaned. I want to season with salt and fresh ground black pepper. Nice and simple. Drizzle with olive oil. Good amount. I'm using a cast iron grill pan and grapeseed oil. Get my mushrooms on here. Pan is nice and hot. These are some larger size baby bella mushrooms and they'll take about four to five minutes to cook per side. Okay, so here's the deal. I cooked the side with the, where the stem was removed first, creating liquid to form inside. So it's very smoky, so flip carefully. For future reference, cook the flat side last. And then I'll remove them. The result from having all that smoke in the pan is creating beautiful flavor, however. And I'll put the 
DQ on here. Grilling these with DQ uh, takes away some of that bitter aftertaste that you would normally get if you eat them raw. Wow, these look gorgeous. And these grill very quickly as soon as they're charred and softened a little bit, they're ready. I'm going to take these out. They're all done. Beautiful. Look at that. I just want to drizzle the mushrooms and radicchio with some balsamic vinegar, extra virgin olive oil, red pepper flakes is optional, and a little pinch of salt and pepper. Don't these mushroom and radicchio looks gorgeous? The chicken should be just about ready. Let's look. Wow, look at this. This stuffed breast was baked in a 400 degree preheated oven for about 25 minutes. That time will range 25 to 30 minutes depending on the thickness of your chicken and the stuffing. Wow, look at that. It's beautiful, it's moist. Look at that, look at that. And by the way, don't forget to take the toothpicks out. Also the chicken internal temperature should be tested at 165 degree Fahrenheit. It's my favorite time. Nice, nice. Look at that. Mmm. Mm. Oh my God. Wow. That is a whole lot of deliciousness. The pesto was just perfect. Oh my gosh. The chicken is so moist and tender. Mmm. Mmm. This, this is a must try. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's try these mushrooms. Mmm. Wow. This is really, really good. The balsamic drizzle with the olive oil made such a huge difference. Mmm. The radicchio has a perfect crunch. It's not as bitter as if you eat it uh, raw, but the whole dish comes together so perfectly. I hope you do try it and enjoy it as much as we do around here. Until next time, happy cooking. This was a home run. Everything worked. Mmm. Mmm.